everyone, how are we all doing? I am back today with a vlog. It's Friday, it's actually the bank holiday weekend and I have today off. Um, so I've got a few days and I just thought I would vlog. I'm actually here with my mum. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and we're currently in Chalton. Let me turn you around. This is Chalton, if anyone ever wondered, um, which is in Manchester. Um, and we basically have just taken my wedding dress to the dry cleaners here. I asked for recommendations for dry cleaners. Um, are you okay? Do you know where you're going? Yeah. I asked for recommendations for uh, wedding dress specific dry cleaners and almost everybody recommended this uh, guy in Chalton called the Village Dry Cleaners. So it turns out he's like an expert on wedding dresses and he's like really insured and everything. So I know a few people messaged me and they were like, oh, I'm nervous about like leaving my wedding dress with someone. So if you're based in Manchester, or near I would recommend taking it to him um, and yeah so we dropped that off with him and then I don't really know Chalton very well so he actually gave us a couple of recommendations which was really nice and we walked down the high street we went to a really cute little cafe what was it called hang on I took a picture it was called hang on Le Petit Paris so there we go. Uh, had a lovely lemon tart. What did you have? An almond cake or something? Yeah, almond and pear. That was so nice. I'll put a picture on screen. Uh, and then we walked a little bit further down to the Barbican. Bar yes. Yeah. Um, which was like a deli and it was like a bakery and like all of that. And we bought some bread because um, Amir from the Village Dry Cleaners said it's like the best bread in the Northwest. So we had to try it out. So we bought some bread um, and we bought some olives. And then, yeah, we just had like a little mooch. And now we are in Didsbury uh, because it's just just next to Chalton um, and I wanted to pop into the little home shop here there's a home shop called Moth which I really really like um, so we're gonna pop into there and also I think we're gonna try and get some lunch somewhere as well I'll show you my outfit properly I'll show you it properly but I'm wearing our Oleada uh, Isla dress in the black you probably can't see it very well because obviously the car's black too but yeah it's the same as our white version but in black but we changed the shape a little bit just to um, make it a little bit more true to size uh, and then I have my Celine bag which I haven't used in ages and then I have my Celine sunnies as well so yeah as I said we are going to head to Didsbury now and I will show you around if I can and that's kind of the only plans we don't really know what we're gonna do after that no. I just mentioned popping into town Manchester town city centre but I don't know if you fancy that we'll see see how we get on um, but it's such a lovely day I'm actually a little bit too hot in this dress because it's quite thick it's kind of a good dress if I'd say for like you know like September time kind of autumn like getting into autumn um, but yeah that's the plan um, yeah I can't believe what a nice day it is and then we don't really have much weekend plans either to be honest um, obviously it's the bank holiday weekend so we're a bit conscious of everyone being quite busy but we might go for a nice little walk somewhere with Rafi um, and yeah just have a chilled one I've just arrived at <coughs> Didsbury I love it here because there's so, such a good bakery there. Um, it's just such cute little independent shops and restaurants. So I'm just gonna try and get a little parking spot somewhere. Can you get in there? Uh, That's quite tight. <laughs> You're getting in there. Do you reckon? No. I can't. No. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and find a car parking spot and then jump out somewhere. Okay, so we found a little spot. And actually, funnily enough, we were just saying the last time we came to Didsbury was when we went. Um, how do we turn that off? Okay. was when we went wedding dress shopping uh, over a year ago now and now we've come back to have my wedding dress cleaned which is weird um, but yeah we went to the white we went to the white closet and did spree for that but yeah let's go This is one of my absolute favourite homeware stores. Oh, it's just so nice. Such a nice little concept store. So we have just come into Manchester because we're going to get some lunch. We were going to eat in Didsbury, but we couldn't really find anywhere that we wanted to eat at. And so yeah, so we've come into Manchester. Hang on two seconds. We have come to go to El Gato Negro. 
on King Street, which I'm very excited about. Lovely Spanish tapas restaurant. When me and Sam first moved to Manchester, like ages ago, you know, the first time, mm. I took him there for his birthday. I think it was his 21st. Yeah, that is that one. This is his 21st. 21st, yeah, how funny. Wow. And now he's nearly 27. That's pretty. Yeah, it's for San Carlo as well. Um, wow. Yeah, how funny. Mm. <laughs> now you're up. We're also going to have a little look at this Tas restaurant because I've not eaten here before and it's Spanish as well. So I want to have a look at the menu. Um, but you can sit outside. But then um, El Gato Negro is just up there. It's Catalan. So we have just got home from Manchester. It's about three o'clock or half three, four maybe? I'm not actually sure. Uh, and I just thought I would show my outfit like properly because I obviously haven't really shown you. Um, so I have my Celine Sunnies on. This is our black Isla dress in a size small. So, so cute. I love it. It's so soft and cozy. 100% cotton as well, so super breathable. Uh, and then I did have on my feet, I had some little Russell and Bromley sandals on. Uh, I'll pop them. I'll pop a picture on screen here so you can see the full fit because I've taken them off now. But yeah, that's the outfit. I'm just going to get changed now and just pop on like some shorts and a t-shirt and just sit in the garden because uh, it's actually really, really warm. So I'm going to sit out there and chill for a little bit. Good morning everybody, so exciting. Our Ocado order has just arrived. So I am going to take this all into the kitchen and unpack it with you because I love seeing what people get in their food shops. So hopefully you guys enjoy that too. So, our Ocado order is here, as you can see. So this is actually my first time ordering from Ocado. I can't believe I've not ordered from them before. Loads of my friends use them. One of my friends in particular always raves about them. Um, and I actually sent her a quick message before I placed my order, like, what do I need to get? What are the best things? And she was like, how long do you have? Um, so I'm gonna unpack all of this stuff now and then show you just some of it. I'm not gonna show you all of it because obviously there's quite a lot here, but show you a few things that I picked up that I think you guys would like to see, basically. So let's get unpacking. So here are some of the things that I picked up. I am so excited to put all of this away. Food shopping excites me so, so much. So let me show you what I got. The whole ordering process on Ocado was really, really simple. I ordered this quite late on Saturday night and it is Monday morning and it's just arrived. So I love starting off the week with a fresh food shop, but I don't always get time to go to the shop. So it's actually really, really handy to have this arrive. So the great thing about Ocado is you can shop from so many different brands. So I did order quite a lot of Ocado's own kind of um, brand. So ordered like their own strawberries, their grapes the avocado, a lot of like fruit and veg I ordered from them, but then you can also shop from other brands too. And I'm actually so excited because I picked up some Dalesford bit. So I don't live near a Dalesford, I live really, really far away from a Dalesford, um, but I always think their food looks so, so good. Um, and actually this is one of the things my, that my friend recommended to me. So this is the Dalesford organic bone broth with ginger and greens. This is just so, so, so good for you just to have as like a soup, really, really warming as well. So I got that. Um, and then I also got another Dalesford broth. This is the Thai chicken one. Um, so yeah, very excited to tuck into that. And also, so excitingly, I have been wanting to try this rosé for the longest time ever. So this is the Amy rosé. I think I'm saying that right. It might be Amy. 
I'm not sure. Um, but no shops near me sell this. Like I've never ever seen this in a supermarket near me or a shop near me. So I was so excited when I saw it on uh, Ocado. Can't wait to try this. I think I'm gonna save it for when I have friends around because I just feel like it's also just so aesthetically pleasing. Um, but yeah, so I was so excited that I could get my hands on this. There are so many rose selections on Ocado. So I spent ages going through, um, but decided to go for this one in the end. What else did I get? The Charlie Bingham fish pie. Me and Sam are obsessed with this. It's such a good one to just have in the fridge for those days when you just don't know what to cook and you just want to chuck something in the oven, but still like really, really nice and like wholesome food, you know? That is a great one. Um, I also bought some bits for a barbecue because I'm hoping to do a barbecue this week because it looks nice. So I got some quarter pounders. I got some sausages, we got some brioche buns. So that is my barbecue food, good to go. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is the Grom Gelato salted caramel. I have been trying to find this flavor for ages. My shop near me does like the hazelnut flavor and I didn't want the hazelnut flavor, I want salted caramel flavor. And yeah, really, really excited to try that. So I popped that on my order. I kind of literally just had everything that I wanted. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up some salmon because I am going to do a salmon dish tonight, I think. Um, so I picked that up. I will cook that with you guys as well. Uh, I also was able to get my hands on the hotel chocolate drinking chocolate. So I have the Velvetizer machine and this is just the best hot chocolate. And do you know what? As I said, I am gonna do a barbecue this week, but actually recently I've been really craving hot chocolate. So yeah, I picked some of this up as well because I was out of it. So I've got that and then what else did I get? Also, I was so chuffed because Ocado also stocks a really good selection of beauty bits. So I picked up some shower gel because I'm always forgetting to pick this up. Um, I also picked up some makeup wipes and then I also picked up my mascara that I'd run out of. Literally, it's one of those things that I just never get a chance to remember to go and buy and I'm literally like scraping the tube of my mascara and I saw that they had it on Ocado. So this is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes. Hang on, is that gonna focus? So I love this mascara so, so much, but I really rarely go into like a boots or anything like that to pick it up. So it was very excited when I could get that on my order. Mascara also has like a really wide range of products. Like they have like clothing, they have like baby stuff. It's actually, one of my friends actually about to have a baby and I've been wanting to pick her up a book for ages to go with as part of her present but I kind of just kept forgetting and then I saw this book on there and then this is this is the get how much I love you book and I this is my favorite book when I was younger so I actually do tend to buy like all of my friends that have babies this book because I just think it's the loveliest book ever like it's got such lovely illustrations and stuff like that but yeah I saw that on there and I was like oh my god perfect so I just added it onto my shop Love that. And then also, I wanted to pick up a little present for someone. So this is the Vine Tomato Candle by Dale Spitt. And actually, my sister bought me one here, which, as you can tell, I have loved and used so, so much. And it smells insane. And yeah, I wanted to get it as a gift for someone. But as I said, I don't live near any Dale Spitt, So was so happy when I saw this on a cardo. So I picked that up as a gift as well. So I literally managed to get so many errands done in like one shot, which makes me really, really happy. And then I also picked up some eggs as well. These are the Clarence Court ones. These are my favorite ones. If you want eggs that have the really kind of bright orange yolk, these are the ones. I'm gonna put all of this away now. And if you guys do want to try Ocado out, they are offering free delivery to customers for their first shop. So definitely worth giving it a go. It's just so convenient, so handy. As I said, I was able to pick up so many different things that I would never usually be able to get and also managed to complete like three of my to-do list jobs all while doing my shop. So that was super handy as well. So just to be transparent, Ocado gifted me a voucher as part of that partnership with them, um, which went towards the food shop that I just showed you, but I also did spend my own money too because I got a little bit carried away and um, yeah, added quite a few things to my basket. But I did also want to say that I have donated the cost of that food shop to the Trussell Trust, which is a UK based charity that works to stop poverty and hunger um, and supports food banks, etc. So yeah, I just want you guys to know that because I just think it's important when showing like food and you know things like that on my channel obviously i am really lucky i'm in a position to be able to afford that um so i just think when i'm given vouchers for things like that that i would like to then make a donation so i last spoke to you guys on friday when i was with my mum we went into town and did some bits and bobs and then sorry vlogging just fell apart me and mum just spent some time together that week sorry my mum and i 
my grandma would kill me for saying that um spent some time together that weekend and just chilled and stuff and she's gone home now and it is bank holiday monday and sam is off woohoo so we are just going to get ready and we're going to take raffi out for a walk and then i think we're going to pop into manchester and go and get like some brunch slash lunch maybe have a little wander around the shops we're going to go to the northern quarter which is um like the independent kind of side of manchester it has really cool like nice bars and restaurants and, and shops and stuff so we're going to head over there i think just have a little mooch around come back make some dinner and then we are going to go and watch the jodie coma um like theater play that's being streamed in the cinemas um it's called prima facie i believe um i'm not too sure much about it but my mum went to see it and she was like you have to go and see it she said it was incredible uh, and i love jodie coma i think she's an incredible actress so yeah i'm going we're going to go see that later on which i'm excited about uh so that's kind of the plan also, I know I didn't show you the bits and bobs that I picked up when I was with my mum, so I thought I would show you guys that stuff now, and then we can head out. Also, don't forget to keep your Ocado bags because your driver will pick them up next time. So, let me show you the bits that I picked up when I was with my mum, and then I also picked up some other bits as well that I thought I may as well show you. So, you guys probably saw, we went into Moth and Didsbury, which is a really lovely independent little home store i didn't pick up too much in there but i did get this vase which i thought was so so nice as you can see like it's quite a small vase and i felt like that is what i was really missing you know just for like a few stems or just like shorter stem flowers so picked that up in there just thought it was really nice really like the shape of it as well i like the kind of fluted glass uh, but yes yeah, so i got that and then i got some cards i just love like cards in these kind of shops they're just so nice so i got this one for sam because it's his birthday soon and i just thought it was sweet and then i got this one for one of my friends whose birthday it is and then i picked up this little notebook because i really need a new notebook for work and i just really really liked it, it just says notes on it and um yeah i mean pretty simple but it's a really soft notebook that's actually from chickadee which i'm sure is like a brand that sells stuff everywhere so i can probably link this if i can i will so that will be linked in the description box below a few other bits that i picked up recently i picked up this book this is called the mountain is you transforming self sabotage into self mastery i actually saw this on tiktok um and it's basically yeah pretty much what it says on the tin helps you um get over that kind of self sabotage you know when you tell yourself you can't do something or you tell yourself it's going to be a disaster or like things like that and it just helps you like work through that and that's something that i feel like i definitely do need help with so yeah i saw it on tiktok loads of people raving about it in the reviews so i just picked it up i haven't even started it yet so i'll let you know how i get on with it i also picked up some gym wear from adenola i love adenola it's such a brilliant brand and i love their gym wear so i picked up a little sports bra this is a size small and it's like the olive green color um i thought i saw dirt on it then but no all good and then i picked up the same one in black i find these so handy just to wear day to day sorry you can't really see that very well oh my camera's broken and it's like upside down so i'm not showing you it very well uh but yeah i find these so handy just to wear day to day oh sam's drying his hair up there hopefully you can't hear that hi raps hi gorgeous man hi <laughs> you okay yeah so picked this up oh i'm gonna close the door so you can't hear sam two seconds okay and then I just got the matching cycling shorts to the olive bra. Sorry, I ran out of memory. Yeah, as I was saying, I will normally chuck like a white shirt or something over the top and some trainers and you're good to go. And then lastly, I picked up some socks. These are just really nice socks to chuck on with trainers. Um, yeah, there's not, oh no. <laughs> They've left the tag on. Oh, that is so sad. Oh no, I promise you I did buy these. They're right here on the receipt. Here they are. Oh, damn it. I feel like I have to show you guys the receipt in case you think I've stolen them. There they are. Can you see that? Is it focusing? I don't know if that's focusing. Hopefully it is. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm going to have to go in and get them to remove it. What pain. Oh, oh my God, they both got the tags on. I got two pairs. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to Selfridges and get them to remove the tag on these. What a pain. Anyway, at least I don't think this stuff's got tags on. No, all good. 
Oh, that's so annoying. Anyway, uh, and then lastly, I just popped to Zara and picked up a couple basics. I got a black t-shirt, which is the exact same one that I'm wearing here. I wear this one 24 seven all the time and I needed another one for when this one is in the wash. So I picked up, Raph, come here, darling, you're fine. He's annoyed because I shut the door and he wants to go up and see Sam. He'll be like two seconds. I know, it's tough, isn't it? It's so tough. Uh, and then I picked up some cargos. I have been loving cargos at the minute. I'm actually wearing some now. Uh, and yeah, I picked these up because I just really like them. I like them. I think they're cool. Like wearing them with little t-shirts like this. They're just really easy. Raffi, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, don't mind me. I just think they're really handy. I wear them to work quite a lot. They just look good with little crop tops, little racer vests and everything like that. So I picked them up in like a stone color. These were $29.99 and I actually tried them on as well and they fit really nicely as well. I got them in a size eight. So yeah, they are the pieces that I picked up recently. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little section of the vlog. Now I'm gonna get ready properly. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this. I just chucked this on quickly this morning. Gonna get ready properly and head out. We are just on our way into town now. Ruffy's got his head out the window. I know lots of people will say the dogs aren't meant to do that, but he loves it so much. So just let him be okay. Um, honestly, me and Paul, well, I know he loves it. And we're not going fast anyway. Uh, me and this hairstyle at the minute are having such a moment. Don't know where it literally like every day. Oh, the greasy pan look. Yeah, I like it. It's brilliant no, like it. because it means I don't have to wash my hair. Like my like hair's it. so greasy and like that's, that is, the greasier the better. Love it. I'll show you my outfit when we get into town, probably. Probably? Probably. Raffi just sat there looking out the window. <laughs> so cute. It's like he's in a movie. <laughs> So we just come into Manchester and this is the queue for Gooey, which is like a brunch spot but also does like amazing cookies. Look at the queue. Yeah, I think this queue is just to pick up like the cookies. It's actually crazy. So yeah, we're here with Raf's and Sammy. And we are, well, we tried to go to, it's up a little bit further. We tried to go to uh, Ezra and Gill, which is like a really nice brekkie place in the Northern Quarter and the queue was mad, literally so many people. It's a bank holiday, so I guess kind of brunch is what everyone's doing. So instead we have walked up to Mackie Mayer in the hope that it's gonna be a little bit quieter. just on our way home but we did stop at Gooey where you saw everyone queuing up and we got two cookies and two donuts. That one's dark chocolate ganache, that one's vanilla ganache, that one's white chocolate and then that one's milk chocolate. Yeah happy with that? <sighs> so we are just home and I realised I didn't get a chance to properly show you my outfit so I thought I'd show you it now before I go and get changed into something comfy. Uh, although these jeans are actually really comfy, but I'm just gonna pop on some leggings because I ate quite a lot and they feel quite tight. Uh, but I just have this Nina Bing tank top on, which I love, so, so nice. Love the shape of it, love the color of it. My necklace is from Astrid and Mew. My earrings are from Monica Vinida. Both my bangles here are from Monica Vinida as well. And then this ring here is from Majuri. And then this is my signet ring and my engagement and wedding ring. Uh, and then this blazer is from H&M years ago. Literally, I think about three years ago. I've always thought it was a little bit too big, but I actually think it kind of works for this look. Um, I love the fact that it matches this really, really nicely. And it also matches the shoes. Uh, and then these jeans are just from ASOS. Not entirely sure if they'll still be on there, because I did buy them probably at least, I'd say about two years ago, but we'll see. I'll see if I can find them. And then I just have my Birkenstocks like clog shoes on. These are quite hard to get hold of, but again, if I can find them anywhere, I'll link them. But yeah, that's the look. I don't know how well you can see it all. Sorry, I know there's loads of stuff in the background. Uh, and then I have my YSL little bag on as well, which I don't really like to use that much because it doesn't have a zip there. And I always feel like it's a bit risky but I felt like it looked really nice with the outfit today so yeah that is the look 
This one's tired from his little mooch around town, aren't you, Dom? Aren't you gorgeous man? Oh, you are the cutest. So I actually think I'm gonna have one of these gooeys. I think I'm gonna get have the cookie, pop it in the microwave, and then have it with some of that ice cream that I got from Mikado. So I think I'm gonna do that now. Sam, do you want a cookie? Yeah, go on, I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Should we just share? Should we just share one? Because yeah. I don't think I could do a whole one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Can you please appreciate the thickness of this? I'm gonna pop it in the ah. microwave now, and then I'm going to have some of this with it. Look at the inside of that. Oh my god, it looks so good. Moment of truth, I haven't done much ice cream because I'm quite full. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. That was so nice. I just had to get this ice cream back out of the freezer because I definitely didn't have enough. So it's added another little dollop. I've just finished mine. Come down and can't see you. You have to bend down. Bend down. Bend down. Yeah. Just lean on the counter. Lean on the counter. <laughs> Stop, Sam, you're tripping it everywhere. <laughs> Stop it. Wait. It's because the thing is upside down. I know, it's down. I know, I know. Go down, go down. I can't see your face. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Well, ice cream's nice enough. You know, I'm glad to put the ice cream on it. Ice cream's nice. Love you. Love you more. So I just come upstairs to get changed, but I also thought I'd show you what I picked up in Jo Malone. Excuse the fact that I haven't made the bed yet. I I actually spoke about this on my Instagram. Hang on, let me pop you down somewhere. Two seconds. Okay, I just can't physically do it without not making the bed. So bear with me. Hang on a second. I have to wait. See what I got? This is where I made the bed. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry. Okay, so I spoke about this. Oh my god, my jeans. They're so tight. I think I'm gonna have to unbutton a button. Oh, that's better. Is that really bad? Sorry, guys, you're just gonna have to ignore that. So I spoke about this on my Instagram, and basically, one of our friends bought us a Jo Malone diffuser as a wedding gift. And it's one of their newer ones, um, I'll show you in a sec, but it's one of their newer like white ones, like the ceramic ones. Anyway, it's in the scent, I think it's like berry and bramble or berry and bay, something like that. Anyway, it is beautiful and it just fills our lounge with the most incredible scent. Like honestly, you just walk through the door and it, you instantly get hit with it, but it's not overpowering. And I often find like other diffusers just don't really have that effect. You can only really smell them when you're near them. Whereas this honestly just fills up the room and I just couldn't believe how good it was. It is expensive, but it's because it's ceramic. You don't have to keep rebuying the actual like jar that the diffuser sits in. You just have to buy the refills, which is so, so good. Obviously it's more sustainable as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why I think it is at that higher price point. And also it is just so like potent, but in a good way, if that makes sense. So we've got that downstairs and honestly it pretty much fills up the downstairs of the house but i really wanted to have one upstairs i wanted one for our bedroom um and yeah so i popped in there to see like what other scents they had so oh goodness it's a lovely gift as well because it comes in this beautiful box like how nice is that and then sorry my camera keeps running out of memory and it cut me off and i'm not sure where it cut me off so i don't know what you've seen but um yeah this is the little ceramic pot that it comes in just a really nice kind of white pot and then this is what the liquid comes in uh so this when you buy a refill is what you'll get and you just obviously fill up the pot again and what's great about the pot is inside it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's like that smooth like ceramic that means that you can wash it out really easily. So even if you don't want to put a Jo Malone scent in there, if you want to put another scent in, that would work too. Uh, so yeah, you get the little fill thing, the diffuser oil. So I got lilac, lavender and lovage. Oh yeah, that's so like nice for like a bedroom or a bathroom. I feel like that's very calming. Um, and then you get the diffuser sticks which are really big like they're really long and i'm wondering if that's why you get like such a good scent from them i don't really know but anyway i thought i'd come up here and pop it in um our bedroom i'm actually leaving one here with my um 
buttons open. Let me just close them. There we go. First golf lesson with <laughs> Right, this is your first shot, yeah? No, that was alright. <laughs> you gotta keep your head down. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually right. I mean, that was good. Was that right? Yeah, mate, you're hitting it. You're hitting it and like getting off the ground. Good morning, guys. How are we all? It is Tuesday morning. We are back to work. I'm just trying on some sweaty Betty pieces. Uh, because I am working with them over on Instagram, but I've been dying to try the leggings for ages because I always go, I always see girls wearing them in the Pilates class that I go to, uh, and I've been dying to try them, and they are so so good. I've just got a little navy set on here, which I actually think I'm going to wear later because I'm going to go to Reform of Pilates. I love this um, square neck sports bra, so so nice. And then yeah, these are their power leggings. I'm not working with them over here. I'm only working with them over on Instagram, but I just want to show you that. Anyway, I'm so sorry that I left you rather abruptly yesterday. We went to see the Jodie Comer Prima Facie uh, film or play uh, and oh my goodness, hang on, I feel like I need to sit down because I want to discuss. Let me sit down, two seconds. Yeah, so we went to see the Prima Facie film. Oh my goodness, what an incredible film. Firstly, how, I mean, Jodie Comer is the most incredible actor. I actually cannot get over how good she was. So it's a play, it's about, I'd say it's about 90 minutes long. It's a one woman play. She is the only person on stage the entire time. And somehow she just manages to play almost so many different parts and like keep it so engaging. And it's honestly just incredible. Both Sam and I just like could not get over how incredible she was in it. So yeah, firstly that part of it was so, so good. Secondly, the storyline was just so, trigger warning it's about sexual assault so if you don't want to hear about this then just skip forwards um i'll pop on screen when i stop talking about it um and i'll pop in the description box as well but it's about i don't want to ruin it for too many people so i kind of recommend that you just go and like have a little look online um but she is a defense lawyer and it's about sexual assault basically and it's just so thought-provoking and like so emotive like incredibly emotional and uh, harrowing and like really really quite sad um, but definitely something that like you should go and watch anyway because it's such a conversation that needs to be had and I think I actually think like all men and all boys should be made to watch this film um, or this play sorry because it's just so interesting and it's what I found really really interesting was more about the way that that particular um, crime is handled in the justice system and how it it should be handled in a much different way it's just really interesting but again i don't want to ruin it for you so <laughs> you're so cute i don't want to ruin it for you so i would really recommend going to watch it i think like every man cinemas have it on um and i think <laughs> you like this sir uh and i think like other kind of more independent theaters have it on as well um independent cinemas sorry uh or you can obviously go and see it in london i believe not entirely sure i'll leave all the information down below anyway but yeah really 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 would recommend it was really good really really good um it was very like because it was just her on stage you had to like concentrate quite a lot on what she was saying but it was you almost 
didn't think you were concentrating if that makes sense because it was so engaging um anyway but yeah so we went to see that last night it was really really good but we didn't get home till quite late i think at home to like 11 ish so i literally just went straight to bed and then today is tuesday and i've loads of work to do obviously because it was bank holiday yesterday so i've got lots of catching up to do uh lots of editing to do lots of emails you okay there ras and yeah so i think i'm going to crack on with that now and i'm going to finish this vlog here uh i did want to show you me cooking some bits and bobs but i'm really sorry i just haven't got around to it but i'm thinking about maybe filming a what i eat in a day or what i eat in a week or something soon so let me know if you'd like to see that uh because i'm going to cook the salmon and broccoli um oven tray bake thing that i was talking about yesterday tonight you saw yam oh yam <laughs> so cute so i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like it was a bit of a mishmash of loads of different things but i actually feel like they're kind of my favorite vlogs to film everything will be linked in the description box below thank you so much to ocado for sponsoring this video all of that information will be in the description box as well and i will see you in my next video bye do you want to say bye Rafi? do you want to come on the sofa to say bye because you're not allowed on this sofa normally come on then up he knows he's not allowed on here because it's the white sofa what a treat <laughs> Right, I gotta go on with some, I've got to get on with some work now. What a treat being allowed up on this sofa, hey? What a treat. <laughs> right, come on, how do you get? <laughs>